So I'm going to talk about this crazy story um, flooding the viral social media world. It's about this Florida guy, Mike Huckabook. He's 55 and he married his goddaughter days after she turned 18. Now before I continue, please like and subscribe. So guys, off the rip, I'm going to say this, address a few things. The idea that he's a godparent and she's a goddaughter has nothing to do with the getting married they form a romantic relation and people must remember a godparent in modern times is just a professional feed for the person being baptized that the godchild that is and to assume an obligation to serve as proxies for the parents if the parents either are unable or neglect to provide for the religious training of the child in fulfillment of baptismal promises that's it now Mike here might not be fulfilling his baptismal <laughs> rights here, probably doing some other stuff, who knows, but <laughs> it's yet to be seen or heard fully. And you know, there is no immediate connection. I mean, look at uh, the Brazilian football player Hulk. He divorced his ex-wife, but now he's with his niece. She's pregnant. He's broken. You know, maybe was he fooling around with his ex-wife niece while married? True. You know but again that immediate connection is broken and the second thing is the age gap now folks age gap with in marriages have been going on for years biblical times this is nothing new across the various religions i mean even today in certain countries africa and asia especially um in certain tribes and you know sector whatever you still have where um grown men 55 marrying 18 year olds and you do have right here in the west some celebrity examples you know you do have dennis quaid and laura savoy just a 39 age gap stephen tyler and amy mcpherson amy preston 40 years gap david foster and Catherine mcphee 35 year gap so this gap thing doesn't mean a thing um you know love is love well would i would i like that you know would i marry an 18 year old when i'm 55 i probably say no yes men biologically they, they they tend to prefer younger women but you know i prefer not to and i go into the reasons why but in any case you know they got married and the crux of the matter to me is the idea of did they have relations before she turned 18. Now, according to this, um, you know, an excerpt here, it says Mike and Deja told Facebook that they will be raising their four kids together. It's not clear how many of the children are Deja's biological, biologically and whether any of them are biologically both Deja's and Mike's. Under Florida law, Deja was legally unable to consent to sexual relations with an adult male until she turned 18. So that's a catch. You know, were they doing it? We don't know. But she has a two year old. Now, let's look at this video to get a little more clarification here. I'm grown now. Talking about, oh, you just a baby. I'm 18, bitches. I moved out my mama house when I was 16. 16. 16. Fucking 16. What did I do? Get a job. Get a job. Pregnant and all, working, pregnant, fucking working at 16 with no motherfucking body. I ain't had nobody. My mama was a druggie. Nobody, never had nobody. I don't, I'm not saying this to show to, to have no sympathy or looking for sympathy. Nobody sympathizing with me. I don't. Ha I don't. I'm. This is not what it's for. I'm just letting y'all know that I don't give a fuck about y'all opinions. It don't mean shit to me. So from this, you can deduce that. She was pregnant at 16, she moved to her mama house. Um, we get to her mother later on. And she was working all that. Now, was she fooling around? You know, was Mike hitting it at that time? We don't know, is it? You know, maybe it's an, if some investigation <laughs> to run a paternity test. And that's where he's going to be in trouble because that's what, um, you know, having sex with a minor, I don't remember the, the, the term for it, but you know, here in the states in the west on the 18 you do that with an, an alternate minor you're in some serious trouble but in any case 
she was she she was working all that and taking care of herself and the kid so i will say one of those four kids are hers based on what she said and going forward you know here she's talking you can see that she's quite you know she's angry i mean she's 18 now she can do what she's doing um but it, it, it's kind of directed mostly to females and <laughs> i think it's that rivalry maybe one of those females is her mother here because her mom did give like a reaction to this and social media and as you can see here the apple doesn't fall far from the this was it is right i'm gonna lie <laughs> so um my daughter and Mike Huckabuck married each other, right? I don't approve of that stupid ass cartoon ass shit. And that's what the fuck I said. I ain't even go to that fuck ass shit. Mike, you know I fucked your ass in 2017 in my apartment in the mother LP when you was coming over there hard. Anybody who know me know when I stayed over y'all seen that fat stink ass over there. Okay? For a cell phone, $150. Okay, I was working at Family Dollar and I need some extra money. So that's what that was about. I told this them, and then when she ran away when I stayed over there with my oldest daughter in Jacksonville, Mike was the main one coming out. This is my goddaughter. Y'all help me find her. Da -da -da -da. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember when I whooped Deja ass in that kitchen too? Like the 14 year old little girl she was. Yeah, y'all remember that? So, with that being said, this is my last child. Her name really is Deja Miaya Evans. Like Davinia Evans, mine. She just got adopted in 2016, right before I came home. Okay, by Ashley Jackson, white chick. All right, so with that being said, uh, Deja doesn't remember when she was little. She don't, re she don't remember when, I was, when she was with me. I lost my kids to DCF. A lot of y'all know I used to stop Patty Soul. A lot of motherfuckers whooped a lot of ass, went to jail a lot. I was young and wild as I don't apologize, and I'd be goddamn if I apologize in a fucking moment. But bitch, you said you married Mike because you need stability. So you can see the fire attitude. You can see where uh, Deja got her, <laughs> her toughness from. So she was spitting, okay? So the mom, you know, she's going to, she went in and detail the animosity between she and the daughter. I mean, you, you can see there's no, there's no love lost. Um, you can see that obviously she doesn't approve because Mike at one time, you know, she considered a family friend. I mean, she did, she did smash him one time. She did allow him to smash one time because she was down her luck, you know, and she was judging. She's recovering right now. She has, she's a recovering drug addict. That's good for her. But you can see, you know, she's kind of upset with this. And um, <laughs> she's detailing like, oh, who's her, who she's relating to, what should be called God, this and that, whatever. And she, 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 you know, she just spilling beans like, hey, girl, I don't need you. And I you can see that the, um, obviously one of those, you know, women Deja was referring to probably is her mother, you know, her mother, <laughs> A mother's own that probably pushed it out of the world but who knows you know it's kind of crazy and we see we see we see what happens because i can gather the family gatherings won't be very nice if it ever happens <laughs> because mike would be like rolling in and all the people like yo who's this you know you, 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 you know black people are already ready it won't be nice but besides that there's one thing i want to point out that the age difference now this does prove um something that women on average will always seek an older guy for the resources the stability and conversely men will always seek a younger woman for fer fertility because they're seen younger fresher and you can see the match me in heaven that he can kind of you know put her in the way that he would like and to a certain extent, I don't agree with that. Um, this is why I have some level of concern because she's 18. At this point, she hasn't really lived her life. She hasn't, she hasn't found her identity. She be living it through him for the most part. Okay. And you know, women 
at some point they go through their emotional changes or phase of life and don't be surprised with five six years from now you be here and she be cheating i mean it does happen countless stories of women who have married young and five six seven eight ten years and the wife is cheating why because you know husband is working too hard or something he's not paying her enough attention whatever you know so i you know I, I wish them all the best i see what happens you know i hope i i hope i hope it's he wounds are healed you know time does that and you know like live a prosperous life but apart from that that's my two piece please like and subscribe alton then be critical all right